Gorillas by Lori McManus. Living in the Wild, Primates, Gorillas. Contents. Some words are shown in bold, like this. You can find out what they mean by looking in the glossary. What are primates? Out of the bushes roll a group of youngsters playing follow the leader. Several adults relax nearby. Is this a playground in a park? No, it is a forest in Africa where young gorillas play while their mothers watch. Six key characteristics. Gorillas belong to a special group of animals called primates. Monkeys, lemurs, orangutans, and humans belong to this group. Primates are mammals that share six key characteristics. One, forward-facing eyes. Both eyes point in the same direction and can focus on the same object. Two, eye sockets. The eyeball sits inside a hollow space protected by bone. Three, grasping hands. The thumb can be used to grip or press against the other four fingers. Four, nails. Most primates have fingers and toes ending in a flat nail that protects the tip. Five, fingerprints. The skin on the fingertips and the other underside of the hand is bare and covered in a pattern of tiny ridges. Each primate's fingerprints are unique. Six, large brains relative to their body size. Compared to many mammals, primates have large brains, which give them higher intelligence. All primates, except for humans, are currently endangered. These special animals may soon disappear completely if they are not protected. Now I'm gonna look at the nonfiction text features on this section. So there's a picture with a caption and it says, like all primates, orangutans have hands that allow them to grip branches. And this nonfiction text feature is a map. This map shows where the where in the world non-human primates live. It has a key down here. In orange are the places in the world that non-human primates live. They live in South America and Central America. They live in the mid to Southern part of Africa and in the Southern portion on the continent of Asia. What are gorillas? Gorillas are the largest and heaviest primate. They're part of a group called apes, which includes chimpanzees, orangutans, bonobos, gibbons, and humans. All apes have a large body size and weight. They have broad chests and long arms. Apes have big brains and they do not have tails. Gorillas share similarities with other apes, yet their specific size, shape, and color set them apart. Caption, like all apes, this gorilla does not have a tail outside its body. Size and shape. Gorillas are the largest apes on earth. Males are always bigger than females. When standing upright, gorillas are about five inches or 13 centimeters shorter than the average human adult. Although some male gorillas grow as heavy as 550 pounds, 250 kilograms, most males weigh between 300 and 440 pounds or 135 and 200 kilograms. Females weigh about 150 and 200 pounds, 70 and 90 kilograms. A gorilla shape is unusual among non-human apes. Its stomach is larger than its chest. This huge belly is due to the size of the gorilla's intestines, the stretchy tube attached to the stomach that absorbs nutrients from food. A gorilla's small intestine would be nearly 33 feet, 10 meters long if it was stretched out straight. Gorilla's arms are much longer than their legs. They also have bigger muscles in their arms. Gorillas use their powerful arms for walking and finding food. They almost always walk on their hands and feet, even though they can stand up on their legs. Caption, a gorilla's belly is even larger than its wide, powerful chest. Hair and skin. Gorillas have dark black to brown gray hair. This hair can be long and silky or short and thin, depending on where the gorillas live. As male gorillas age, the hair on their backs and upper thighs turns silvery gray. Because of this change in color, adult males are sometimes called silverbacks. 
Under a gorilla's dark hair, the skin is also dark. Sometimes baby gorillas are born with patches of lighter skin that turn dark with age. Gorillas have skin without hair on the soles of their feet, palms of their hands, fingers, nose, lips, ears, and chest. Gorillas have especially tough skin on their fingers. They use their knuckles for walking and the thick skin protects them from injury. Gorillas, chimpanzees, and bonobos are the only animals to get around by knuckle walking. Caption, gorillas can move very fast when they knuckle walk. A big head. Gorillas have large heads. The back part of the head is higher than the front. The bony area, called the sagittal crust, supports the strong muscles needed to chew raw plants. A gorilla's large forehead protects its small eyes. Another obvious feature is on the gorilla's face is its wide, flat nose. Its nostrils are large. Although gorillas have a good sense of smell, they rely more on their eyesight than their sense of smell. Caption, nose prints. Scientists can tell gorillas apart by looking at their noses. Each gorilla's nose is unique, like a fingerprint. Here you can see a gorilla's wide, flat nose, its large forehead, and its sagittal crest on the back of the head. How are gorillas classified? Scientists classify gorilla into two main groups based on their similarities. Classification of living things. All animals share basic characteristics. For example, they all eat food to get energy. However, some animals are more closely related than others. Scientists usually divide living things into seven levels of classification. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. These can be divided even further, for example, into suborder and family. This diagram shows how primates have evolved into different groups. Here's the timeline some scientists believe. Here's where it started. Here's how it evolved. Classification of gorillas. Scientists once believed that all gorillas were similar enough to be classified as one species. However, gorillas in Western Africa are smaller and have shorter hair than other gorillas. Eastern gorillas grow larger and have darker hair. In 2001, scientists classified gorillas into two species, the Western gorilla and the Eastern gorilla. These two species can be divided into even smaller groups called subspecies. Western lowland gorilla, Western cross river gorilla, gorilla Eastern lowland gorilla, and Eastern or mountain gorilla. This diagram shows how the western lowland gorilla below is classified. Where do gorillas live? Gorillas live in tropical and subtropical forests in Africa. Some of the forests are in the mountains and some cover areas of low wetland. Gorillas live in these habitats because of the plants, trees, and rain. Caption, this map shows where three of the four gorilla subspecies live. However, there are so few cross river gorillas left that they cannot be shown here. So orange is for the Western lowland gorillas, green is for the Eastern lowland gorillas, and yellow is for the mountain gorillas. But there are so few cross river gorillas that they cannot be shown on this map. Forest habitats. Gorillas do well in tropical and subtropical forest habitats. A tropical forest is a forest of tall trees that grows where the temperature is warm all year. Subtropical forests also have tall trees, but they're a little further from the equator and not quite as warm. Because of the higher elevation in their habitat, mountain gorillas experience cooler temperatures than other gorilla subspecies, especially at night. The amount of rain determines the kind of plants that grow in forest habitats. Some forests get a lot of rain, more than 100 inches, 250 centimeters, a year. These forests are called rainforests. 
Gorillas that live in rainforest benefit from the many leafy plants that grow where the water is plentiful. Lowland gorillas. Some gorillas live in a tropical forest that grow where the land is flat and low. The gorillas in these areas are called lowland gorillas. Lowland areas usually have a rainy season and a dry season. Plants in lowland areas include succulents, plants that can store water inside their cells, and thorny, short bushes. These plants provide lowland gorillas with food. Caption. Lowland tropical forests sometimes have natural clearings where grasses and water plants grow. These are good food for lowland gorillas. Mountain gorillas. Mountain gorillas live in the Virunga mountain range in Uganda, Rwanda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. During the rainy season, mountain gorillas live among tall trees with smooth bark and thick bushes. They eat the bark leaves, stems, and fruits of these plants. During drier months, mountain gorillas move to areas where they can eat bamboo. Caption. The many plants and trees in the tropical forest habitat provide gorillas with food, bedding, and spaces for play and rest. Diane Fossey. In 1966, Diane Fossey began studying mountain gorillas in, the eastern, in eastern Africa. At first, the gorillas ran away whenever she tried to approach. Then she began to quietly copy the gorillas' behavior. She climbed trees and chomped on wild celery. Soon, Fossey could sit close to the gorillas without scaring them. She took photographs of the gorillas and studied their behavior for almost 20 years. Diane Fossey worked hard to protect the mountain gorillas. She tried to stop hunters and people who wanted to make money by showing the gorillas to visitors. She also tried to keep cows from eating the grasses in the gorillas' habitat. Her work made poachers, illegal hunters, and farmers angry. Fossey was killed in Rwanda in 1985, probably by people who wanted to stop her work. An organization that Diane Fossey started in 1978 still exists. It is called the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund International, and it works to help protect gorillas. Caption, Diane Fossey became the first human to experience a friendly touch by a mountain gorilla. What adaptations help gorillas survive? Over time, gorillas have developed characteristics that help them survive in the forests of Africa. These characteristics and behaviors are called adaptations. Mountain gorillas possess slightly different adaptations than lowland gorillas. Arms and legs. A gorilla's long arms and short legs make it easy for it to walk on all fours. This way of walking spreads out the gorilla's heavy weight onto both of its arms and legs. If a gorilla had to walk on just its legs, its bones, knees, and hips would soon wear down from the weight. Tug of war. Scientists estimate that a gorilla is over six times stronger than a human. A gorilla would win a game of tug of, tug of war even if six adult men were pulling on the other side. Because gorillas are so large, they, can, they are not as fast or as flexible as other primates. They're not able to swing easily from tree branch to tree branch. Instead, gorillas use their long, strong arms to pull down branches, rip thick plants from the ground, and climb trees to find food. Hands and feet. Gorillas have opposable thumbs and opposable big toes. This means that the thumb and big toe can face and touch the other fingers and toes. This allows gorillas to grasp small objects such as insects and vines with their hands and feet. The gorilla's grip also allows them to hold their babies carefully, peel stems, and build nests for sleeping. Caption, here you can see a gorilla's opposable big toe. Look out for those teeth. Gorillas have 32 teeth many of which are huge molars. These molars allow gorillas to grind up tough plant parts so they can be swallowed. Gorillas also have teeth called canines. These pointy teeth are found on the sides of the mouth and help with ripping. 
Male gorillas' canines are especially big. The males use these large, sharp teeth to defend females and their young from predators, animals that eat other animals, such as leopards. Keeping warm. Gorillas must keep warm to survive. This is not a problem for lowland gorillas, as the temperatures where they live rarely drop below 60 deg 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. However, some mountain gorillas live high up enough to experience near freezing temperatures at night. Mountain gorillas have developed long, thick hair to keep them warm. In contrast, lowland gorillas have short, have short hair. The hair on all gorillas protects them from insect bites. Gorillas have also developed behaviors to keep themselves warm. On cold days, gorillas huddle close together for long periods of time. They use each other's body heat to stay warm. Body odor. Gorillas sweat. The sweat helps protect their skin from dry cracks. Male gorillas also produce a strong sweat odor when they are stressed or excited. The smell helps the males to communicate their emotions to other gorillas. Caption. These mountain gorillas have long, thick hair to keep them warm. What do gorillas eat? Gorillas are herbivores, which means they mainly eat plants. Gorillas are not known to kill other animals for food, and few animals attack or feed on gorillas. The types of plants gorillas eat depend on where they live. Mountain gorillas usually eat green plant parts such as leaves, vines, and stems. They also eat small amounts of fruits, roots, and tiny creatures such as worms and snails. Eastern lowland gorillas eat plants, and they also eat fruits when they can find them. Western lowland gorillas eat lots of, a lot of fruit as well as leaves, stems, and seeds. Caption. Gorillas will travel outside their normal living area to find special foods such as young bamboo stems. A giant appetite. Gorillas spend about a third of their day eating. An adult male will eat up to 45 pounds, 20 kilograms of food each day. That is about the weight of a six year old child. Gorillas eat so much in order to get all the nutrients their large bodies need. Gorillas are picky about their food. They will peel off the stem of a plant and eat the soft part inside. They leave behind the parts of the plant they do not like. Gorillas rarely drink water. Instead, the plants they eat contain the water they need. Gorillas also suck rainwater from their hair. Top of the chain. A food chain is made up of a series of living things that are each dependent on the next as a source of food. Gorillas are usually at the top of their food chain. Caption, this food chain shows plants, that, the grubs that eat them, and the gorillas that eat both the plants and the grubs. What is a gorilla's life cycle? Gorillas experience different stages of life just as humans do. Gorillas are babies first, then children, and finally, adults. When they are adults, gorillas can produce babies. The stage of growth from a creature's birth to its death are called its life cycle. A baby is born. A baby gorilla grows inside its mother's body for about eight and a half months. At birth, the baby gorilla weighs about four and a half pounds, two kilograms. The baby starts drinking milk, drinking its mother's milk immediately. It depends on its mother for food, warmth, and protection. Baby gorillas grow quickly. They begin to crawl at about nine weeks old. At about six or seven months old, baby gorillas can walk short distances. They start to eat plants, but they also keep drinking their mother's milk until they are about two years old. Play is very important for young gorillas. They chase, wrestle, and join in games with each other. Baby gorillas also play with adults jumping, jumping on them and giving them gentle bites. Caption, baby gorillas learn to climb on their mother's back when they are six to seven months old. They hold on tight with their mother, while their mother moves around. Juvenile gorillas. Between the ages of three and six, 
young gorillas are known as juveniles. Juveniles practice skills such as peeling stems by copying the older gorillas. A juvenile gorilla still stays close to its mother, sharing her nest until she has her next baby three or four years later. Caption. Juvenile gorillas like climbing trees. Since they are smaller and lighter than adults, they can climb more easily to find leaves high above the ground. Teenage gorillas. Gorillas move into a stage called adolescence when they are about six years old. During this stage, they begin to turn into adults. They gain weight and grow larger. They become skilled at finding food. During adolescence, males grow taller and start to look different from females. The adolescent males are called blackbacks because unlike the adult males, the hair on their backs is dark. Caption. Here you can see adolescent males, a female, a baby, and an adult male. Can you tell which is which? Adulthood. Gorillas reach adulthood when they are able to reproduce, have babies of their own. A female reaches adulthood at about eight years old. Most females have their first babies by the age of 10. Female gorillas usually have one baby at a time every three to four years. Male gorillas are fully grown and able to reproduce at about 11 or 12 years of age. At this time, silvery gray hair grows across their backs and they become silverbacks. Often, the new adult is chased away by the male leader of his group. The young silverback then starts a group of his own or takes over another silverback's group. As the leader of the group, the silverback will mate with groups two or three female gorillas. Gorillas live to about 35 years of age in the wild. In zoos, they can live up to the age of 50. Gorillas lose their teeth as they grow older. Without teeth, eating is difficult. An old gorilla becomes thin and weak. Caption, this female gorilla is pregnant. How do gorillas behave? Gorillas live together in family groups. The gorillas within a group eat, relax, and sleep close to each other. Living in troops. A gorilla family group is called a troop. Each troop usually has five to 10 members, but some have up to 30. One strong male silverback leads the troop. Other members include one or two adolescent males, two or three females, and several juveniles and babies. As the leader of the troop, the silverback makes all the decisions. The silverback decides where the troop will travel, when they will eat, and what they will, when they will rest. The silverback mates with each of the females in the troop. He is the father of all the young gorillas. Although gorillas are usually peaceful, a silverback will fight to protect his troop from predators such as crocodiles and humans. Caption. Each troop is led by a silverback male. Home range. A gorilla troop lives and travels in one general area. This area is called a home range. A troop's home range covers one to six square miles, 2.5 to 16 square kilometers. Since many different kinds of plants grow in tropical forests, gorillas usually do not have to travel far to find food. Yet a troop will always move to a new eating space each day. This behavior saves forest plants from being destroyed. Sometimes the home range of one troop overlaps with the home range of another. Gorillas usually do not fight over their area. Instead, the silverback leader simply moves his troop a safe distance away. Caption, troop members spread out when they eat to avoid arguments over food. How do new troops form? Once a young silverback becomes an adult, he sets out to form his own troop. Sometimes he attacks, attracts females from an, other troops to join him, or he might take over a troop from an older silverback by scaring him away. Silverbacks might even fight for the leadership of a troop. If the younger silverback loses, he will often spend time with the other young adult males before he tries to win his own troop again. When a female gorilla becomes an adult, she leaves her family troop to join a new one. The female must respect the silverback in the new group. If the silverback does not earn her trust, the female may leave. 
Some females change troops two or three times before they settle down. In a troop, a female's importance depends on how long she has known the silverback. Often, a female gorilla tries to join a silverback who is alone. That way, she automatically becomes the most important female in the troop. Caption. Some silverbacks try to scare their enemies away by showing their teeth, roaring, and beating their chests. Who grooms whom? Gorillas groom each other based on their relationships. Grooming is when one animal cleans another animal's hair and skin. Younger females in a troop argue over who gets to groom the silverback. They want to win his approval. Usually females do not groom each other, but every mother carefully grooms her young. Caption. It is the mother's responsibility to groom these young gorillas. At the moment, they are busy playing. A day in the life of a gorilla. Gorillas spend most of their time eating and resting. They get up early in the morning when the sun rises. The troop moves to the spot where they feed for the day. Then the gorillas eat all morning. With full bellies, gorillas relax for four to six hours in the middle of the day. The babies and juveniles play with each other. The adults rest as they watch the young ones. Gorillas also use this rest time to cuddle. In the late afternoon, they set out to eat for a few more hours. Then they settle in for a long night's sleep when the sun goes down. Ready for bed. Gorillas make new sleeping nests every night. They gather leaves, twigs, and branches to tuck under and around themselves. Each gorilla makes its own nest, except for young ones under three years old. The babies sleep with their mothers. Looking for Misa. In 2007, a baby gorilla named Misa and her mother disappeared from their family group in the Virunga National Park in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Misa's father, a silverback named Kabarizi, immediately moved his family group to a hiding spot high in the mountains. Then he searched for Misa and her mother. After several days, Kabarizi found Misa in the forest. Sadly, Misa's mother was never found. Misa's story has been recorded in a book called Looking for Misa. Caption. The western lowland gorilla is eating a meal of leaves. How intelligent are gorillas? Gorillas have large heads that contain large brains. These big, complex brains make them capable of learning, remembering, using tools, and communicating with each other. Gorillas are curious animals. Young gorillas learn skills by copying older gorillas and then practicing. For example, baby gorillas try to make their own sleeping nests from the time that they are 18 months old. At first, the young gorillas only pull a few grass stems over themselves. With practice over the next two years, they learn how to make neat, comfortable nests. Caption, baby gorillas learn new skills by copying the behaviors of older gorillas. Using tools. In 2005, scientists observed gorillas using tools for the first time. A female gorilla in the Democratic Republic of the Congo used a stick to test the depth of water before wading into a river. A second gorilla used a tree stump as a bridge. Since 2005, scientists have observed other wild gorillas using rocks to smash open palm nuts. In Cameroon, Cross River gorillas have used sticks, rocks, and lumps of dirt to chase away humans. Set free. Damien Aspinall raised a baby gorilla named Quibby at his conservation organization in Kent, England. When Quibby was five years old, Aspinall released him into a rainforest in West Africa. Five years later, in 2010, Aspinall returned to the spot of Quibby's release. He called for Quibi using sounds from the gorilla's childhood. Amazingly, Quibi recognized the sounds and Aspinall. Quibi immediately sat down next to Aspinall. Then he playfully climbed on Aspinall's back. Damien Aspinall is reunited with Quibi as several members of Quibi's troop look on. Gorilla communication. Gorillas make 22 different sounds to express love, joy, fear, sadness, anger, pride, and other emotions. 
When gorillas are happy, they make purring sounds. When they're upset, they cough or bark. A low rumbling sound can be heard when gorillas are laughing. Gorillas even cry using soft sounds rather than tears. Baby gorillas whimper or scream if they are scared or left alone. Gorillas also communicate emotions with the expressions on their faces. With a stern look, the silver lead silverback can stop his females from arguing. When angry, gorillas press their lips firmly together and stare straight ahead. When afraid, gorillas open their mouths wide, show their teeth, and shift their eyes back and forth. Young gorillas smile when they are play fighting. Caption. Gorillas use body movements to communicate. This male is beating his chest to scare off an enemy. This pock pock noise of the chest beating can be heard over 650 feet, 200 meters away. Francine Penny Patterson. Francine Penny Patterson has studied communication between gorillas and humans for almost 40 years. In 1972, she began working with a one-year-old gorilla named Coco. Over time, Patterson taught Coco over 1,000 words in sign language. Patterson says that Coco also understands about 2,000 English words. Coco responds with sign language or obedience to a command. Patterson established the Gorilla Foundation with other scientists. This organization works to protect wild gorillas and study gorilla intelligence. Caption, Penny Patterson, left, is asking Coco if she is hungry, and Coco is replying that she is. What threats do gorillas face? Gorillas are endangered animals. They may become extinct because of hunting, loss of their habitat, and disease. Humans are the greatest threat to gorillas. Hunting gorillas. Gorillas are often hunted for their meat. Many people in Africa are poor and need food. They cannot afford to buy expensive meat such as pork or chicken. So they buy the meat of wild animals such as gorillas and elephants. Meat from wild animals is called bush meat. Hunters make money by selling bush meat to restaurants and local people. Hunters often break the law by killing gorillas on protected land. Some people hunt gorillas as a sport. They want to collect parts of the gorillas to show off to others. Sadly, a gorilla's hands or head may be turned into a trophy. Sometimes hunters set traps for other animals, but gorillas accidentally get caught in them. Caption. If a gorilla gets caught in a trap like this, it can be seriously injured or even die. Habitat loss. As human populations grow, people look for new places to live and work. Sometimes people cut down the trees in African forests to make space for farms and houses. People also use the trees for firewood. Companies clear trees off the land to make money. Mining companies want to dig for a metal called coltan. Coltan is used to make cell phones. Other companies chop down the trees so that the wood can be used to build houses. Caption, companies cut down forest trees to sell the wood as a building material. Problems for gorillas. As people cut down the forest, gorillas must move to new places or live in open areas. Mountain gorillas have begun to live higher up in the mountains, but the cold, wet temperatures at these heights can cause illness. Cleared land makes food hard to find for lowland gorillas. With the trees and bushes gone, some gorillas search for food in farmers' fields. Often people attack the gorillas to scare them away. The silverback leader will try to defend his troop. He may be killed and the troop will scatter. The gorillas are unlikely to survive without their leader. Easy pickings. Clear land makes hunting gorillas easier. Tropical forests are often too thick with trees for humans to move quickly. With cleared land, the hunters can use vehicles to get close to the gorillas. Diseases. Safari vacations, which allow tourists to see gorillas up close, are popular in Africa. Money paid by the visitors helps the local people. However, people can spread diseases to the gorillas if they get too close. Gorillas do not have any protection from many human diseases. A de disease such as measles can be deadly. 
Why should humans care about gorillas? Gorillas are quiet, peaceful animals that present no danger to humans unless they are threatened. They help keep the forest habit habitat healthy. Gorillas eat and distribute seeds, so new plants will grow. If gorillas become extinct, the chance to know more about these gentle giants would be lost forever. Caption. It can be thrilling to see gorillas up close in the wild. However, if the gorilla becomes too comfortable around humans, they may be less likely to run away from hunters. How can people help gorillas? Humans are the main reason that gorillas are endangered. However, humans are also working hard to save gorillas and conserve their habitat. Conservation organizations. Conservation organizations raise money to rescue and nurse injured gorillas. They also help enforce laws against poaching and help poor people find food sources other than bush meat. Some conservation groups work to protect gorilla habitats from being destroyed. What can you do? You can join conservation groups such as the World Wildlife Fund, WWF, and Conservation International, and perhaps donate pocket, some pocket money every now and then. Encourage your family not to buy furniture made from the wood of rainforest trees. If you go shopping for food with your parents, you can ask them to buy goods that have been produced in an environmentally friendly way. Food labels will give information on this. Fair trade certified goods ensure that money is earned by local people, which may mean they do not have to take part in activities that may harm gorillas. Read about gorillas and tell your friends and family about what you find out. The more people who know about endangered gorillas, the better. Finally, make sure you recycle as much as possible. This means that materials such as wood can be saved and reused. That way, more trees do not need to be cut down. Caption. Scientists believe there may only be about 200 Cross River Gorillas left. The Cross River Gorilla is the most endangered of all gorilla subspecies. What does the future hold for gorillas? The future of gorillas is not certain. These gentle giants will become extinct if their habitats disappear and if they continue to be hunted in large numbers. However, there is hope for gorillas. Conservation organizations have helped to keep the number of living gorillas more constant. African governments are working to maintain peace so that people will travel to see the gorillas. With vacations called eco-tours, Local people earn money by leading groups through the forest in ways that are safe for the animals and the visitors. Individuals and groups around the world are working hard to save the gorillas and their forest habitat. Walking Tall. The Aspinall Foundation rescues sick or injured gorillas. One of the foundations rescued gorillas, Ambam, has become famous. In 2010, an animal researcher filmed the 21-year-old silverback strolling around on just his feet. The researcher posted the video on YouTube. Thousands of people have now watched Ambam walk around like a human. Scientists believe Ambam walks upright rather than on all fours so that he can carry food with his hands and see over the wall at feeding time. Caption, if people work hard to protect gorillas and their habitats, there's a good chance they will survive. Gorilla profile. Wide flat nose, sagittal crest, large forehead, small eyes, long strong arms, black to brown gray hair. Species, Western gorilla. Weight, adult males weigh 300 to 500 pounds, 135 to 220 kilograms. Adult females weigh 150 to 200 pounds, 70 to 90 kilograms. Height. Adult males are 5 feet 7 inches to 6 feet 1.7 to 1.8 meters tall. Adult females are up to 5 feet 1.5 meters tall. Habitat. Tropical mountain. And lowland forest. Diet. Fruit leaves, stems, fruit, leaves, stems, flowers, seeds, bark, roots, and some insects. Number of young. A single infant is born after eight and a half months of pregnancy. 
Females will give birth about every four years after they have reached maturity at about eight years of age. Birth weight, four to five pounds, 1.8 to 2.3 kilograms. Life expectancy, about 35 years in the wild and up to 50 years in captivity. The glossary, where you find words and definitions for just this book. Find out more page, find out more books, find out more websites, and find out more organizations to contact. And index. I hope you enjoyed this book. Thank you.